Hi, hi friends. We are here at the market. Um, it technically is open, but I'm still not done setting up, but I'm taking a break for food and for cooling. We have our neck fans. I almost forgot them, but I made sure to charge them this morning. So we're good to go. Credit card reader is charged. Um, I don't know what to expect from this. Honestly, I'm not expecting a lot. The goal is $100. Um, we paid 20 for this area. It's a 10 by 10 outside of this um, peddler's mall. It's like a little thrift thing, but people can buy spaces and like inside and pay like a monthly price type thing. So, um, like I said, I'm eating some Jimmy John's right now. Joy, thankfully went and got it for me. I'm so happy he's here to help me. I'm sure he's not here happy to be in the sun, but it's hot. <laughs> it is hot. But he also has a neck fan. So I, <laughs> I'll show you guys the setup in a minute, uh, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, get an introduction in before, uh, you know, I forget. I, I did make a bingo sheet. I'll show you guys that later too. It's inside my claw machine so that I didn't forget it. Um, but we haven't even opened up the claw machine yet either because um, the sun is still, like, because it's 11, the sun's still like this. So I'm waiting for like 12 where it's like this <laughs> and not coming in from the angles. Because I, I have a canopy tent where I don't have the walls on the side. So I actually am borrowing this from my mom. But here's a little sneak peek. Here's, I have the hats, a few hats up here. And then here's Joey over here putting his neck fan back on. He's got a little Pokemon hat. He already got complimented on his Dragon Ball Z shirt by someone. He went and helped put up their tent because he's so nice, you know? Okay, I'm gonna finish eating my sandwich. The other cool thing is they let me set up on the sidewalk or they're like, we're gonna set you up on the sidewalk. And I was like, cool. So that's the front door. And then here is our table. I did like a half and half. What I wanted to do was put the grid wall in the middle so I could put hats on one side and like shirts and beanies on the other side. But because we are on the sidewalk, uh, the grid wall wouldn't fit there unless I like split it in half, kind of like the table is. And then the table would be sticking out one side or the other. I bought this four foot table and I'm loving it so far. The tables where I can make it shorter is nice because then I can put it under the table if I wanted to. But we got our weight on the tent and we got our Kirby's. Here's all the different colors. We still have Boo left over. And then these are some of the ones that I made for Pride. Mystery bags and mystery box on the front. Business cards. Got some keychains. I'm hoping to order some more acrylic to add some more um, different ones. I want to do... Um, a loot bug to go with a lethal company guy and then we'll go this side we have hats and beanies and then i also put the shirts up and then i did put the cow bucket hat out because i feel like if, if this is gonna sell it's gonna sell here pikmin korok and then i haven't even put up all the hats yet honestly i feel like people are gonna be it's be like it's way too hot i'm not even gonna touch this fleece material <laughs> Um, but there is Pinkie Pie and Rarity, the new ones that I'm practicing for my ponies. And then this is extra storage. I think I'm just honestly going to leave it there. I'll zip it the rest of the way up. And then if we go on to the other side, we have plushies. So squids. I made a um, cinnamon roll this morning and I have a, a, extra, a couple extra I can work on. But honestly, in this heat, I really don't want to do anything. I just want to sit it's, it's hard to want to do anything else. Um, here's the little Lethal Company guys. And then this is something new that I made specifically for this because I feel like this would be good here. Um, travel cutlery holders. Um, great for camping, amusement parks, and conventions. One for 12 or two for 20. And they do come with chopsticks and a stainless steel straw. And then some of them do have a straw cleaner, but um, whoever buys first will get a straw cleaner. And we have some nursing fabric, some rainbow galaxy fabric, and then just some regular galaxy fabric. Got our squeakoids out here, and then Mothman Fresno, axolotls, axolotls up here, Minecraft, 
and then we have the sign and then I did move my stickers to this binder just so they don't blow away and I don't have to deal with that so we do have all the stickers over here they are immediately going to go back in to my binder when we're done with this because they will fall off the top if this gets like flipped any sort of way that's not upright but I did want to show off that my cinnamon roll and my chromie are made into stickers too and I made them to match my little plushy guys and I think that's it other than we got the claw machine and someone did already play so we did make ten dollars if we just make ten more we'll make our table back so that is the main goal here but yeah that is it it's probably about 11 30 now um but I'll show you guys here's all the cars too and they do have food trucks and like coffee uh lemonade different stuff but yeah let's see how the rest of the day goes i'll give you guys an update i know that it's probably gonna be slow but we're only open till like three so hopefully we won't have to stay too long in the heat all right i wanted to show you guys my bingo card and oh okay there's a couple that we can mark off so we can mark off the free and there is a dog here actually right next to us it's this cute german shepherd and we did make our first sale. So honestly, if we just get these two, I see someone I know and someone is selling tumblers, we can get a bingo right away. But other than that, I haven't seen anything yet. hear someone watching Coco Melon or something <laughs> next to me. <laughs> right when I press record. <laughs> I'm sad that I have to mark this one, but the only sale I've done is the claw machine for $10 and that was around 11.40 I think and it's now 12.46 so Hopefully, hopefully we can make 10 more dollars at least. We can cross off another one. We saw some people from Joey's work that are our friends too. So, and they bought a mystery bag for 15. So we have made our $20 table bag. <laughs> Yay. How oh. you feeling? Oh, fine. Technically weather's damaged product too. What did it damage? It melted their cake pops. Oh yeah. Okay, we can cross that one off. I'm not being stingy today. All right, we'll cross this one off. So for this, we need someone asks for a business card or calls character by the wrong name. And then I don't think we'll get this one unless someone buys a, yeah, and I have them priced as 45 right now. So they'd have to buy a hat and something else. Yeah, no one's gonna buy a hat, I don't think. Um, something blows away, I feel like that's very possible. Um, we could get diagonal. My blank can make that. Somebody runs into a tent or a table, disinterested spouse. So this one is like, if there's like a boyfriend or something that's talking, or friend, um, talking about something at my table that they're really into and the other person's just like, uh-huh, yeah. Or just walks away or just like, come on, let's go. That's what this one would be. Bethany came up with this one and this one's good. This happens a lot at um, anime conventions. I'm sad I didn't think of this before, but another good one on the bingo card would be like, what is this like asking like oh oh what is this or oh what do you sell um because that would have been good i've had a couple people because they're not used to this kind of stuff you know they're used to like yard sales and antiques and things um they're like oh what is what is this or if there's a character that they don't know that would be good too It'd be like what character is this or what is this so that's a good one if you're making your own market bingo card uh, you can add that one on there that's a good one also i wanted to say i highly highly recommend getting one of these neck fans they are it's just so nice like it doesn't cold, blow out super super cold air but it's just nice to have the air on your face and this one does have three settings i just put it on the second one because it'll last like all day we used to take these to disney and they're so nice and even at the airport if you're doing a lot of walking in the airport you can take these on planes at least this one i got it off of amazon we have two um one i got they're pretty sure much the same i think one of them i paid like 12 dollars for one of them i paid more like 15 16 dollars for but honestly they're pretty much the same just different colors and one of them was on sale at the time 
but definitely get one of these and if you're doing outside events or you know outside a lot and definitely get some kind of tumbler turvis thing that is insulated because like your bottle of water and all that is going to lose its coldness very fast like this already is getting warm but at least it's still a little bit cold cold so definitely you know get something insulated so you have cold water to help you feel a little better and if you want you can pour a little like on your wrists like that's very helpful that's what they told us in photo pass is put a little bit of water on the inside of your wrist and just like a little bit on the back of the neck and it helps a lot but here comes joey with our lemonade yummy did you just get regular oh, peaches love peach flavored stuff look how big i'm excited Mm, that is really good. That's really good. Good idea. Someone just brought, someone just bought my crim plushie, the one that's like a plushy form. I did have it marked as twenty dollars. I'll probably at conventions do more like twenty five ish since it's bigger. But I honestly don't remember how long it took me to make. But yeah, they bought that and they bought two stickers, a loot bug and a Mothman sticker. So what is that? Twenty, forty, fifty, five. We've done sixty dollars, okay? So if we can do forty more, we'll hit the goal of a hundred. So let's let's hope so. There's a balloon rolling. I don't know if you can see it. It's about to go behind that car, but oh oh, it's running into the car. It hit the car. But that counts as something blows away. I didn't. I wasn't specific if it was like something of mine, but something blows away. Very. Yeah, what's that word very open to possibilities so yeah okay so if someone spends over fifty dollars we can get this bingo but otherwise still anyone's game oh no there's a rogue beach ball let's go get it we got nothing left nothing else left to do let's go take it back They had this cute little thing. They had a bubble machine. They had so much cute stuff, little games. But I mean, I guess just because there wasn't enough people. But they did give us free water. And I'm going to get another one and fill up my water bottle. All right, we only have 30 minutes left. But I'm going to mark this one off because they didn't have their phone. But she said when she gets back to the car, she's going to follow me. And I gave her a Pokemon card. So we're crossing that one off. And someone did ask me, I forgot the person that got the axolotl, asked if I take card. So we're gonna mark that one off too, but we're still, still no bingo, but it's been fun. Let's see, we've got 30 minutes left, but yeah, these are, these are kind of harder ones to get. I, I, I thought we were gonna get the business card one, but. We're all packed up. I'm sweating bullets. We got the car with AC, but we're gone. And a lot of people started packing up at the same time too. So I'll give you guys the recap when we get home. Hi, hi friends. It is the next morning after the market. It is actually like 6.30 in the morning. We got home yesterday drenched in sweat around three o'clock our time. So four o'clock fast time, which is the, um, market was ended at three o'clock fast time and came home showered ate dinner and then took a nap but that nap turned into sleep we didn't wake up until like 10 o'clock at night and then we we're like well might as well go to bed so that's why i'm up so early willingly on a sunday because i was like i can't sleep anymore i've like pushed myself to sleep past 5 30 but let's do a recap of my first market 
and how I liked it and what I thought of it and would I do it again. So the heat was rough. I had a lot of people that were like, do you sell inside? Usually other vendors um, because inside it's a peddler's mall and if you don't know what that is, there's like people can buy booth spaces and then you pay like a monthly price to the mall people and then they also take like a percentage of what you sell and you can put your stuff in there and it can honestly it can be anything I don't know if they really allow food you might have to be in a certain area for that but yeah you can put and a lot of people put their like if they were to have a yard sale at their house that's what they would put in their little booth space and I want to say it's like a 10 by 10 space it's a pretty big space but I had a lot of people say like do you sell in there oh you should sell in there I feel like your stuff would do really good and I was like, yeah, this is kind of my test to see if I think my stuff would do good because it's very niche, you know? If you think in like, oh, the convention anime type side, it's not that niche. It's more like a lot of video games, anime. But if outside of that, in small town Kentucky, it's pretty niche. I kept telling them like, yeah, maybe in my slower season, um... I have a lot of conventions right now maybe I'll try it I think maybe it would do good around Christmas time but I'm very niche and I feel like there's a lot of people that don't want to pay if they don't know a whole lot of what it is and don't understand that it's handmade I don't know if a lot of people will pay you know the 20 30 dollar plus items that I have for like their kid that maybe likes the show or maybe likes the video game. I might look into it after Otakon because that is the last big convention until, so that's in August and then October I have like Anime Inc and then December I have GalaxyCon Columbus but that's a pretty good space out but like right now I have Pride, I have TrotCon and then I have Otakon and they're like back to back to back. I'm just stressing a little bit right now. Maybe I'll try it out for the holiday times and I don't think you have to stay for like a year or anything. You can choose to do it monthly. Let's talk money because I'm sure you guys are curious um, what I made at my first market. Now this is my first, this is my first market. Like I would call it like a farmer's market um, type craft market kind of thing so I would put it in the market category over like convention category for sure I didn't know what to expect my goal was a hundred I think I said that but honestly if I just made my twenty dollars back for paying for the space I was okay with that so I did make my twenty dollars I made it sixty dollars total fifteen dollars from one of our friends that Joey works with um, they bought a mystery bag um, for $15 that has like the sticker sheets, small prints, and like some little sticker, little stickers. And then the very first sale was a claw machine a little girl played. And I think she had a good time. I think she liked it. Um, she got a keychain, but I don't know which one it was because they didn't open it while they were there. And then the last sale, I only did three sales, was to... I'm assuming a couple they were very adorable and they bought an axolotl plushie so the one that the crim plushie that I made that has its arms and legs like and he's like sitting and then they bought two stickers so that was $25 so wait I guess I did one more I think there's another $10 item Hold on, let me check my book. <laughs> okay, I just checked and I don't know where I got 60 from because we made 50 and that was all the sales. So what I told you was that we got three sales and there were those items and it totaled up to be $50 and then I paid $20 for the space. So we made $30 and Joey and I did get Jimmy John's while I was setting up. He ran and got it. So that was probably like $20 for food, honestly. So we maybe made like $10, but that's okay. I'm not like upset about it by any means. I'm glad that it was short, honestly. I was like 12 to three or like 11 to three. It's like only four hours. That's very short. But in that heat, I'm glad. Like a lot of us started packing up early because it really wasn't that busy either, even though we were pretty 
like out in the open it's a really um popular street and i feel like everyone really goes here for the weekend to do their like thrifting and shopping but again it was like 92 degrees outside and i'm sure a lot of people were like i just don't want to get out of my car i don't want like if i'm going out i'm going to the drive through or i'm going in a store that is very cool and ac circulation so i they said they might do a fall one if i don't have anything going on i might do it but just outdoor markets i don't know if you guys do outdoor markets they are just not they're not fun in my opinion because you have to deal with the weather so maybe maybe you get a nice beautiful day and that's awesome but you could also get hot days like this and even though you have a canopy tent it's like outrageously hot and you're still dripping sweat it could be windy and that's terrifying even if you have weights on your tent because it could blow away um it could hurt someone it could damage a car it could damage products like that's scary or it can be rainy and then you worry about all your stuff getting wet and so then that's miserable and it can also be cold it can be freezing cold and then you're also miserable and you just want to go home so that's why i really enjoy enjoy indoor events but i can't say that i'll never do an outdoor event again because i do have the possum festival september 7th in cumberland kentucky and it is outdoor but it is outdoor in september so it could be rainy, it could be cold, it could be a really nice day. We'll see when we get there. But I'm not completely throwing off um, outdoor markets or markets in general. I did talk to a lot of vendors and I did join a Facebook page that is for like events in the area and what's going on. And there's one that they do sometimes at like a school. There's this, um, a lot of school events in the area do it to raise money for like senior trips and prom and things like that and i'm like that is my if anything other than conventions like i need to get in with like high schoolers or like middle schoolers that is where people will spend their money or maybe their parents will spend their money for my products because i did a event in like a gymnasium at in delaware and i think i made three or four hundred dollars for just a one day not at a convention and so that was really nice to just set up and I didn't even like prep for it I just brought what I had it was like beginning of December so people were doing like their Christmas shopping that was the theme and I made like three or four hundred dollars and that was very nice <laughs> I had a lot of people also ask me about my bingo card and how my bingo card went on Instagram and wanting to know if they can get a copy of it and you can I actually just made it on a free bingo card generator and I got to type in my own stuff but I can share the link with you guys so that link is in the description down below if you want to use it this one is specific to market so like outdoor markets because I made it like if something blows away if there's a dog like things like that so that is down there in the description and I do hope to start making more for my convention videos because I really enjoyed it if it's a slow time it was really fun to like try to look around and see what I could find and just entertain myself and Joey I think and then hopefully it's a little more entertaining for the vlog too I was afraid there really wouldn't be anything in this vlog and I wanted some backup content if it kind of crashed <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the bingo card too I did not get a bingo I I could have if the cards were in my favor, but the harder ones, like someone spent $50, was in one of the sections that I could have, like I only needed like two more and that was one of them. And surprisingly, no one asked for a business card. I thought somebody was. Um, our friend that came by that bought something asked for a card. I was like, oh yeah, a business card? And she was like, no, like for the raffle. And I was like, oh, there's a raffle going on? I don't, I didn't know anything about that. And yeah, supposedly they were doing a raffle and some of the vendors, they gave some of the vendors raffle tickets and then if a customer bought something for them, they would get a free raffle ticket and they fill it out and then they put it in the basket for like a door prize and they were giving away door prizes. So she was like, well, let's go ask them about it because like they said that the vendors got raffle tickets and i'm like okay yeah i don't i don't know anything about it let's go see so uh we walk in there 
and she was like, yeah, she said she didn't get a raffle ticket. Um, I was like, yeah, I don't know anything about a raffle ticket. Am I supposed to get one? And they're like, yeah, uh, we gave some of the vendors raffle tickets that they could give to customers to enter. And we were just like, okay. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, all right, well, so we turn around and leave and she's like, yeah, I guess like our friend was like, yeah, I guess, uh, you're not special enough to have or get raffle tickets. And I was like, yeah, I guess not. I don't know anything about these raffle tickets. So I don't, they didn't even like offer an explanation. Like, yeah, the first people they got here, we gave raffle tickets to, or like, yeah, the people that, um, have vendor spots in here, we gave raffle tickets to. They were just like, yeah, we gave some vendors raffle tickets and that was it like I don't, okay I would it would have been a lot nicer just or not nicer but it would have been better to have an explanation like yeah you know since you're not a vendor here at, in the store we didn't give you one or oh yeah we randomly picked like even if they were just said that even like we, oh yeah we randomly picked like five vendors that would have been totally okay, but, like, since they didn't say that, I was like, okay, I feel, I feel awkward now. <laughs> but no, I guess I'm gonna, just for my sanity, I'm gonna say they gave it to the first three or four people that showed up, and we weren't late by any means. Like, we got to set up on the sidewalk, so I thought I was pretty special to get a set up on the sidewalk. But set up started at 9.45, and we got there at, like, 9.55, probably. Um, and there were, like, maybe three or four tents already set up and, like, the food trucks were there. But, I mean, some of those people probably were all the same person. Like, that one person probably had three or four tents. But, I don't know. And I know it wasn't just, like, the vendors inside because, like, vendors inside had a booth outside. Because the two people that tabled next to me had vendor spots inside and they didn't say anything about a raffle ticket. I never saw anybody get a raffle ticket or walk away with a raffle ticket. So I don't know where these raffle tickets came from, but I'm assuming somebody won the raffle. <laughs> so that was a little like, okay, interesting. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not upset about it, but like I did make three sales. So <laughs> they could have got raffle tickets, but overall I'm, I'm happy with it. I might do it again if I had nothing going on at that time, but odds are I'll probably end up getting a space inside at some point and trying it out and seeing if people want my stuff at all. The other thing that I worry about is theft or my products getting put somewhere else because even though they have cameras and I think you can set up your own cameras in there, um, you go through these booths and you can grab the items and you'll walk around the store with them and then when you leave you check out so i'm also worried that like a kid's gonna pick something up they're gonna take it and then the mom's gonna be like no you can't get that put it down and it's gonna end up in a booth on the other side of the mall but i mean i guess the good thing is you do put your table number or your booth number on it and i'm sure the people that also have booths there are very like they understand the worry and the stress and they like return it or they take it to the front so they can put it at the right booth but that is a little bit of my concern too is theft or missing like i would definitely have to be on my game about inventory to make sure everything stays up to date with it but that is my recap of my first market i hope you guys like it the next video will probably be Lexington Pride, which I'm super excited about. So I hope you guys stick around the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe, please, because it is a huge help and it lets me know what kind of videos you guys like and would like to see more of. Feel free to comment below too um, if you have any more bingo card ideas, whether it's conventions or markets or bingo cards for just other things. Um, drop those comments below so that I can add more stuff to the bingo cards and it'll be new things every time. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye bye.